<laughs> Let's go in an attic? Okay. Narration. But I'm the narrator, son of a bitch. I want to enjoy the story. Take me on a ride of whimsy. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's cool. Hello, everybody, much. This is me, your narrator. And before the video starts, I want to take this moment to thank Bespoke for being today's sponsor. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that is delivering awesome boxes of high-quality stuff for under-the-radar brands. Not only that, it is completely free to join. They have spent over $47 million buying merchandise from smaller businesses to help out and put it in their boxes to be shipped to you guys. Every single month, they change up their products to something completely new, and it's absolutely amazing. They got people from outdoor stuff, barware. Heck, you can even get live oysters. Every box has around $70 worth in value, but it's only for $45. It's absolutely insane. You'll get a box designed and delivered for you every single month, but you can do three things with it. You'll be able to preview what's inside your box before it ever ships out. And if you like it, you get to keep it. If you feel like you don't like what it is, you can always swap it out for different items again before it ships out to you. And if after all that, you still didn't find anything that you wanted that month, don't worry, you can skip it and you won't be charged. You only pay for what you want and you can cancel your subscription at any time if you need to. I got three things in my bespoke package that I'm absolutely in love with. Number one, I got a multi-tool. I can use that for literally anything outside. I can use it to help plant, make sure all my stakes for my trees holding them up are okay. It's really useful in many different ways and I absolutely adore it. The second thing that I got is a machete. Now, it's kind of small, but it's really sharp and it's really powerful. I fell in love with it the moment I put it in my hand. I used it for everything from cutting down stuff to just cutting meat in my kitchen. It's super sharp, really reliable, and I absolutely love it. And then the third and final one that I got was my hammock and blanket combo, which just being outside and being in a hammock, there's almost no better way to sleep outside, and it's absolutely amazing. And finally, Honey Bunches, to get 20% off your very first box, make sure you click the link in the description and use code NARRATOR20 for 20% off. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it, and thank you, Beast Folks, for sponsoring this video. Hey, little magpie. Not so little now, I guess. If you're reading this, it's been a long time. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you before, but you're all grown up now. Before I died, the solicitor just wanted me to list this with the other items. But I knew you'd appreciate something more personal. Besides, I left you something special. You'll find it in the attic. Look for the key. You'll figure it out. With love and adventure. Aunt Meum. Meum. <laughs> Aunt Meum. All right, all right. It's a cool looking bird, Aunt. Here we go. Key. Oh. Jesus. Hello there. Hello. Oh, my. Feels like I've been asleep for years. Oh. <gasps> I suppose you're wondering what this is all about. I remember your aunt being just as surprised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Arbitrix. Hello, Arbitrix. I am the master of the table and a prodigious teller of tales. Ooh. And you, my friend, yeah. are about to embark upon quite the adventure. Yes! But I hope you're ready. I am, I am ready. Jesus Christ! Dude, I need to turn that shit down. I am ready. The ship is on its way back to the biggest port in the Crown's Islands. Its voyage has been a success. The substantial treasure on deck was, let's say, acquired by four scoundrels who hired the ship for their venture. Wait, who what? Are they, you ask? Pick them up and see for yourself. Am I the bad guys? Thomas Turlinger, the apothecary. A genius of experimental potions with a rather questionable clientele. All right. Yo! Yo, this is sick. Calls herself Nuna. 
don't ask where she got her heretical and very illegal powers of dark sorcery. What? Oh, she's two across the board. Okay, all right. Hammer, a violent thug who's really good at solving problems with her ironclad fists. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see you. Introducing Horatio Nine Lives the Thrice Blessed. The swindler came up with that name himself. That's the bard. That's the bard. Captain Frost abandons the wheel. As her there at the rail shouting nonsense into the wind. The crew aren't happy. They've bewitched the captain. Yells first mate Barnabas. And brought this what? storm upon us. We must take the ship for ourselves. What? This is mutiny. A band of heroes would try and talk the crew around, but these are scoundrels. What? The best way they know to end a mutiny is to put it down. I am the villains. What is happening? Uh, rest, steel fist, leaping strike. Play this card on a phone within range to expend power pips and attack. Let's go. There you go. Hold on. Watch this. Dark curse, bro. Let's go. He did. Let's go, dude. This is sick. Honestly, like I know a lot of a lot of people enjoy like D and D type shit. This is honestly so freaking cool to me. All right, then we got the swashbuckler. Uh, he's gonna be in the middle of everybody. Uh, and it looks like that's gonna be it for him. I'll keep him there. I'll keep him right there. All right, I guess you rest again then. I'm sorry, what? You're switching places? When is that allowed? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh I don't freaking think so. Hello there. One of the remaining crew comes up from below to join the fight. All right, let's see. So if I do this, I can do that. Turn about. Yay. And then cut and run. Another sailor comes on deck. Looks like the whole crew is in on the mutiny. You are acting like this is a problem. Hello, watch this. I'm gonna deal with you. Leap and strike, let's go. And then rest you. And then you are gonna go here. Oh, you can't use your staff. You sassy lassie. Bam. Let's go. Blast again, you dummy. The ship's cook appears. Cleaver in hand. How many of these dudes are there? Like, this is taking forever. You have nothing else that I need, but I'm gonna plunge my steel fists into your rectum. The cook goes, gonna try and hurt my person. You sassy. Gonna heal you. And I'm gonna heal you. All right. Now, as for you, you, you did. You the mutineers, but you still need to regain control of this ship. I do. There's a lot going wrong, and all your scoundrels will need to pitch in if they want any hope of surviving this storm. All right, so strength, we want, we want the... The captain has abandoned the wheel. Someone we want that. strong needs to steer the ship through this storm. Come on. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Against the wheel and manage to hold on, steering clear of the worst of the storm. Yes! Alright, the most intelligent thinker is this guy, right? I believe. Yes! Alright, you go here, and then you go here. Captain Frost is waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Someone needs to talk sense to her. Here we go. Come on, baby! Let's he nimbly climbed up and trimmed the sails, slowing the ship and saving the mast. Nice. This is what I'm gonna need all my marbles for. And go. She looks at them. Oh shit. The way a teacher looks at an annoying student. Calm. Oh, of course I'm calm. Calm as this ocean. <laughs> So, oh. no help from the captain then. Yeah, captain's done. You've done all you can for now. The ship's as safe as it can be. And just as well as a giant wave is about to roll over the deck. Wait, Grace what? Four impact. What? 
I've always wanted to say that. Unfortunately for these scoundrels, there are only enough safe handholds left for three people. <gasps> one of them is going to be washed overboard. What? The question is, which one? It's up to you who fails to hang on. Oh, shit, dude. She's two in everything, though. So she could be used in, like, a pretty good idea, but everybody else is really good at something. Dang it, she's a wizard, too. Uh, we always need a bard for sticky situations. That's strength. Then you have the artificer, but he's usually pretty... Oh, no, what? Gone. Deep beneath the waves. No, I didn't! Only three scoundrels left. I was looking at his stats! Their first thought is that this means a larger share of the treasure. What? That's the sunfish. I'm sorry, the what? personal vessel of Solomon Sanko, governor of the Crown Islands. Ooh, he's taken a batter in from the storm. Though, <laughs> it's still in better condition than your poor ship. Shit. Wait, those, those aren't sailors. They're orcs. The most feared pirates in these seas. Oh, shit. The governor and his captain are tied up on the deck. Oh, no. The orcs clearly don't want you interfering with their plans. Prepare True. to be boarded. We prepare to be boarded. No, fuck that, homie. Good thing you secured the cannon. Now you can use it on the orcs. You bet your sweet ass I can use it on the orcs. Oof, that must have hurt. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking... We're gonna let him rest. I'm then gonna move over, and I'm gonna hit. I cannot hit any of them. I can't do shit. All right, here we go. Yeah, you. Yeah, by by the laws of D and D, you can't strike me unless you have a gun. All right, well, if I can't do anything, let's go, baby. You really can't do anything either. You're kind of you're kind of useless at this point. But you. Oh, you. You could then hit this. Let's go, dude! Oh, she's hurt bad. Oh, she's hurt bad. This ain't it, Chief. I'm trying to get through all of this, and it's not working. It is not working at all. I am going to... Itch in the face, you dummy! And then... And then this person is still stuck... But I'm gonna leap over and punch him in the face. Did it. The scoundrels free Governor Sanko, who is very grateful, and Captain Starlin, who is embarrassed he wasn't able to escape his bonds in time to help. <laughs> Nerd. You should come with us to the capital, offers the governor. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! The governor, you say! Bird. Look at me. Look at me, Bird. What should I do? Oh, right. It's it's a it's like an English word. Hey, you! What exactly should I do? Like, we got the Endless Storm, yeah? We got Ruby Island, we got the Diamond Ice uh, Island right there. We got Crown Island, Emerald, Sapphire... They're all just... They're, they're, they're fucking... That's it. Like, it's all gemstones. When we get to Half Arch, you shall be properly rewarded for your bravery. Ooh! Ooh! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, bird! Hunts, Yo. fishers, traders, smugglers, artisans, privateers, and scoundrels. <laughs> Let's go, dude! Come with me. Insists Solomon Sanko. <gasps> the governor is determined to make good on his promise. Later that day, after what? a feast in his estate, the governor surprises the scoundrels with something they never thought they'd experience. Fame and glory. What? Let us begin the hero's celebration. Hey, let's go. Why can't regular like, why can't we have D&D &D like this all the time? What, why you, why? Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. I don't know who this guy is. So let's uh, have our bar talk to him. Let's, let's have the cool guy. Say farewell to Captain Starling, all right. Ah, it's the heroes. Leaving already. As a shame. May we meet again in equally joyful circumstances. Woo! Captain Starling says before excusing Woo! himself. <laughs> he just pushes over an NPC, bro. He's like, yo, flank this party. <laughs> I'm out. After a round of farewells, the scoundrels slip away. Though they've lost one of their number, they've gained a second chance. 
They agree to split the treasure equally and go their separate ways. What? I should... What is happening? I'm losing all my members. This is bullshit. Time for your award. Oh. Choose a new ability and it's yours. Ooh. Heal and defense. Oh, <laughs> yep. All right, what do you get? Yo, summon a shadow creature. <laughs> yes, please. Using a deceptively humble pouch of precious gems, Nuna slips the treasure inside her sleeve before leaving, hopefully to a remote, peaceful island. I am in love with this. This is absolute... I love everything about this. Horatio collections share the treasure. We got inflict sting damage. All right. All right. Struck, stuck damage. Got it. Oh, it's a hidden dagger. Ooh. Or a taunt. Range two area, two by two inflict weakened damage. Oh, <laughs> it's literally, it's literally. This is a thing in D&D &D that is exactly like this. I think it's, it's not power shout. It's not, it's, it's something word, like cursing word or something. But like you, lit as a bard, you can literally shout at someone and be like, hey. You're mean, and it will do damage. I think that is the funniest thing ever. Our scoundrels go their separate ways, vowing to put their scoundrel days behind them. Nice. And they did. Nice. Well, at least for some time. What? No. No, no, no. I had a change of heart. You can't do this to me. Governor's ship rescued from brutal orc raiders. Heroes did everything they could. Alchemist Guild launches new flagship. <sighs> the wise woman, Governor Sakan, renews popular gunpowder ban. Ooh, solicit Horatio, seventh anniversary of last orc raid. Oh, it would appear that many things are happening for us in the table of tales. Seven years, seven years, goddamn. Seven years is a long time. That's what I said. Long enough to build a whole new, quieter life. Yep. Tonight, the scoundrels return to Half Arch for the first time since that day. <gasps> Over here. It's Governor Sanko. <gasps> Quickly, we may be watched. A figure darts from the shadows and stabs the governor. <gasps> no! This is very bad. You must find out why the governor summoned you. Hey, yo, first of all, get this dude. Get this dude right here. I know the governor's like, there's three of you. Scooby-Doo that shit and split up. The governor is barely conscious and gravely wounded. Your scoundrel tends to him as best they can. A city watch patrol. This is not good timing. Oh, no. More city watch. They must have heard something while on guard duty on the West Dock. That's not good either. And then there's the governor's mysterious assailant. Yep. They're getting away. Three problems. And only two of you left. Make a choice, quick. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good at all. So I'm going to have you go after the assailant. Angel will have to be fast to chase down the assassin before they get away. Oh shit, this is not gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna suck. Please, for the love of God. Please, for the love of God. Catch the assailant. Please. No, come on! Your scoundrel darts forward, but the assassin is too fast. No! You hear noises from the east docks, but you'll have to deal with the city watch before investigating. Damn it! Come on! You had one job! All right, all right. We gotta talk to him. I know she's all twos, but... Oh, man, this is gonna... Oh, man, don't, please. Please, for the love of everything, do not fail me. Please. I just need two stars. Yes! The scoundrel acts drunk and begins a long, boring story about tripping over crates. The guards make excuses and leave quickly. Okay, thank Your God. Your scoundrel watches them go, noticing they are guarding a ship on the west docks. Okay. The governor laughs as his eyes open and he recognizes Horatio. <laughs> Making a show of saving me, Horatio. We both know you'll let me die. It's what you do. What? Oh, yes, I know. I know what all of you have done, and soon everyone else will too. 
What? All Horatio can do is hold him as he dies. What? A quick search of the governor turns up a map of the islands with several locations marked. Each one horribly familiar to one of the scoundrels. What? No time to wonder what the governor's words or map mean. The City Watch have seen the scoundrels with his dead body. You'll have to fight them off. No, this is a huge misunderstanding. Oh, God, bro. This is why I love D&D. Mortal conflict. Shit is happening. Oh, I love it, but I hate it. I tongued you a second time. There we go. I'm so sorry, you guys. I, I, I didn't do it, I swear. God damn it. I don't know where the... Where my character at? Uh, I'm gonna need you to not be drunk. Why are you so big? Go back to normal. God damn it. I'm so sorry. L listen, lady, you're gonna have to be normal. All right, steel fist. Got it. You fought off the watch, but it's only a matter of time before more come to investigate the commotion. I know. You need to get out of Half Arch, and that means you need a ship. I need to go to the west. At the east docks is the governor's ship, the Sunfish. There are plenty across the crown who'll recognize it. The scoundrels don't recognize the ship at the west docks. The guard probably means captured pirate or smuggler. Maybe good for laying low, but who knows who owns it. Whichever one you're going to take, now's the time to choose. <sighs> Look. Here's my thing. Like, we could do the safer route, all right? We don't know whose ship this is, but if we do the safer route, we'll never know who actually killed him. Now, he already was being kind of a dick, though. Like, he was kind of a dick. But on the other hand, these characters were swindlers before heroes, but now they're good. So it would only be fair to f try and find who killed him and clear our name. So it looks like that's what we're doing. The sunfish has been restored to its former glory since the storm seven years ago. Why is she and still Stanley big, bro? Still in command. I hate this. Instead, Why are you big? He's lumped against those crates. Unconscious. The assassin is here and has friends. No time for niceties. These assassins mean business. Maybe Starling can help you if you can bring him round. If you can bring him around? Oh shit. All right, I'm going to I'm going to have her try and wake him up. That's a 3. Starling stirs. He's waking up. Yes. He needs some more help to get back on his feet. Keep trying. Come on, come on, come on. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Yes. Captain Starling stands groggily. You. Thanks for your help, again. Let's deal with these gallows and monkeys. Uh, then we'll talk. All right. Okay, we still have the captain on our side, so that's perfect. Summon a shadow creature. And now I am going to hit you with my staff. And now as for you, I'm going to put you up here. And get you. Shadow Beast! Let's heckin' go, dude! You killed my Shadow Beast, you dick! Not the captain! How, how fucking strong are these guys? Dark Pulse, I'll hurt myself in the process. But I'll leaping strike that dude. Yee! And then I will... Oh, I can't do anything. All right, shrug it off. I'll get you. Ha ha! And then I'll get him again. Oh shit, I maybe shouldn't have done that. Oh, she dead! Oh, she dead! Oh, I can revive someone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, why can't I revive the captain? That's some bullshit. I'll revive my one player. And then I will rest. And then what I'm gonna have to do with you... I can hit you with a staff. And then you, I'll swap with you, and then hit you in the back. Boom. Oh, you hit her again. What is with you hitting my voluptuous woman? Oh, I'm pissed. I'm going to pick you back up again, and then I'm going to get him in the fist. I'm going to fist him. And then you. Kaboom. 
The last of the robed figures vanishes in a bolt of lightning, just like the others. This is amazing. The sunfish is yours for the taking. We... But the mystery has only deepened. Starling wants answers. Is the governor safe? He was supposed to be meeting with you. The scoundrels explain what happened, and that they need a ship to find the killers and clear their names. Oh, I should have known something was wrong. That's twice I've failed to protect Governor Sanko. Come on, the watch won't be far away. Yes! We got the captain! <laughs> yes! That's what I wanted. As long as I get the captain and we have his help, we have I feel wind. good. Lose the top sails. I'll see this through with you. I need to bring his killers to justice. And besides, <laughs> you need a sailor. Yes. Yes! What will happen with our heroes? Will they find the killer of the governor? Or will they be eradicated in their journey? Find out next time on the Tales of Table. T tape Table of Tales. Whatever this is. If there is going to be a new one. That'll be up to you. Do you want to see a part two of this magical ma magic? I know you do. If this gets over 20,000 likes... I'll do a part two. That's right, I'm basing these videos off of likes now. If you don't want to see it, don't get it to 20k likes. I'll know you didn't like it, and I'll move on to the next adventure. But if you do like it, and you do like the story, the magic, the whimsy, the mystery, then I will continue playing this game until we figure out what happened. The killer and the governor. Goodbye, everyone.